Kia ora whanau and welcome to another episode of Get a Job and Get Healthy with Costas Enterprises. I am your host Alex Costas uh, as always and uh, today I am going to um, discuss a, a little bit about my Redbubble semi-success that I've had in the last couple of days uh, as well as um, an unfortunate thing which seems to have happened with Teespring um, for myself as well, not for anybody else. I don't know about anybody else. Uh, and also just talk about the, the fact that I now have over 300 designs, which is not bad considering, you know, in January I had sort of 49 designs. So, yeah, pretty happy about that. So, as always, you can um, check me out on my website and find all these podcasts uh, at costasenterprises.business.blog as well as check out um, all my other uh, posts that I've got there in regards to recruitment and all that sort of stuff. I do intend to start posting a bit more. I know I keep saying that, and I actually will be doing that very shortly. Um, I'm hoping to sort of get a bit of alone time and just write some stuff up um, when when I feel a bit more relaxed Um, and when I'm not basically trying to grind like red bubble styles as well. Um, so yeah, costasenterprises.business.blog. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram um, at the Kiwi Don, and that's all lowercase and all together, no hyphen, no nothing. That's T H E K I W I D O N for Nike. Um, and also, as you know, you can also contact me um, via email. DonCostas at gmail.com that's D-O-N-C-O-S-T-A-S at gmail.com again the N is for Nike Um, and yeah feel free to hit me up about anything so first off I'm going to start off with the Teespring thing like what actually happened Um, so I'm still getting uh, technically I still have an account with Teespring but what I've found is for some strange reason um I'm getting emails from Teespring saying, hey, look, join our new, spr- uh, uh, our new Spring site. So for those that don't know, Sp- Teespring is now called Spring. And the marketplace that they used to have has sort of changed a little bit. It's now no longer really a marketplace. Um, they're trying to reinvent themselves as a more direct-to-customer merch um, sort of... Uh, website uh, for you to create and design your own store so kind of think of it as sort of like uh, print on demand slash creating your own store like a Shopify type store Um, so it's great for your own merchandise and all that sort of stuff They're, they're primarily targeting like influencers and youtubers and streamers and all that sort of stuff which is a really cool idea um and yeah, I was really onto it. Um, they've also started doing things like digital content, which, as I talked about in one of my previous podcast episodes, digital content is something that is a very cool idea, um, especially if it can be done right. Uh, but for some reason, um, it looks like they've changed it all up a little bit. And um, I saw, I got an email from them today basically talking about how now you can actually you can actually buy domain names from them uh so effectively your store will have its own domain um which i was like that's very very cool and made me think this is an easier way for me to market my own store now they've talked about their own storefronts for a while but the fact that they're now actually also offering the ability to uh get your domain as well uh is very 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 cool um as it, it just you know I haven't checked out the customization and all that sort of thing like how much you can actually change about your store like before this storefront was pretty I'm going to be pretty honest it was pretty shit um, it was not very user friendly there were some issues um, and you know you had to have like little little tricks to do so that you could have your, your product actually shown um, otherwise it would just like if you sort of selected five or more products it would it would show those five products of the same image uh without actually adding the other images so it was a bit of a a bit of a shit show being completely honest um 
uh, but it was Teespring was a pretty good thing because of the the trust score if you got the trust score now I'm not sure if they've still got the Teespring trust score um, or anything like that um, and I do apologize for the noise people I am driving again uh, I know I know I shouldn't but I am and I want to get this out on Thursday because I have been unfortunately getting it out on Fridays which I'm not happy about um, I want to keep it consistent for you guys and it is like 10 o'clock at night at the moment um, and yes I know restricted driver 10 o'clock at night in New Zealand is a no-no don't tell on me uh, please but back to the matter at hand with Teespring um, I logged in and well tried to log in and got told that my my shop has been uh, my, my account has been deactivated um, and to contact uh, customer support so I did that earlier today um, I am still waiting to hear from them they apparently take 24 hours uh, business days uh, 24 hours like a, a whole business day so given that I'm doing this in on a Thursday I hope to have a response by Friday uh, and hopefully the system is all brought up to, to speed if it is brought up to speed I will do a little bit of customization I'll find out the banner sizes and uh, maybe play around a bit I, I will admit I have not put anything up on Teespring in about four months five months um, apart from a couple of digital products that I put up as a tester and some of those digital products I'm, I haven't sold any but what has happened is I have seen people click on them um, so it means that they are actually getting noticed even though I haven't had a sale from Teespring in a while um, uh, but uh, yeah I, I will admit I hadn't logged into Teespring in about maybe three weeks um, to check my analytics I usually go in there every, every so often to check my analytics and my listings uh, what's trending is anything working sorry about that had a little bit of a sneeze unfortunately um, but yeah I, I try to have a look at my analytics and see what's selling is anybody clicking on it and viewing it and all that sort of stuff um, but yeah as I said I haven't been on there for about three weeks so I, I logged in today when I saw that they had the message about the domain name because I was like oh look I'll, I'll look into it and I'll see how much it is because you know some domain names can be a bit expensive and you know if I have a right to secure my own you know dot com like is it going to be like that or is it dot store dot com like or is it like my words my um my um business site which is you know dot business dot blog so the reason for that is my business is done through um uh wordpress and it is a free site the one that i'm using i'm using the free template I'm, i find that i don't have enough traffic to justify paying for you know a domain as well as a thing every month uh every year and all that sort of thing so um at this stage it's a free site until i start generating a bit more um traffic to it and of course that that involves me actually writing as well which we talked about before and yeah i i was very shocked to see that you know i'm getting these emails from teespring saying hey your store is great this is good we're we're doing this we're doing this we're doing this and i was like oh cool they're doing this they're doing this they're doing this and then logging in and going hey yeah it's been deactivated now um, no email from them before saying please log in before such and such a date um it could be an error it could be like the storefront being down or something like that. i don't know um but i did i did contact customer support as at right now i have not heard from them um but i will keep an eye out and uh, i'll give you an update next week to see if anything has happened in regards to that um whether or not they've reactivated it um i'll also try to give a bit more of an update on domain names and all that sort of stuff um just to you know keep you guys informed as well so the next big thing is Redbubble sales. Um, in the last sort of week, I've actually had two um, Redbubble sales. Uh, one at the very end of February, one sort of about three days ago. Um, one was for a mask uh, of a pattern design. Um, and I think I might have told you guys about this. Um, and it was basically, it was the rabbits and skulls design that I've got. Um, and the person actually sent me a bubble mail which was very very cool I was really really happy with that um, explaining that the reason why she bought it um, or he bought it was because they worked with a person that used to 
like their name literally meant rabbit on skull and I was like oh my god that's kind of cool and so yeah I engaged with that person and I was like thank you for contacting me you know I really appreciate you doing that like it's cool to hear these things like you know I just made this design like this and yeah it's cool that someone's actually thinking about it um so that made me really happy and then the second design that I sold was a t-shirt um and it was another Jacinda t-shirt but it was not the same design that I um usually get sales with my other Jacinda t-shirt design has actually had seven sales already on it um and it's because I'm on page one of like when you search Jacinda um which I think is where my money originally came from for that um and I created a new one uh but this t-shirt that I sold um is going to New Zealand so someone's bought it in New Zealand and it's actually it's a trending design um so the trending design itself is real leaders lead with love and so I went well hang on Jacinda is a real leader she definitely leads with love and you guys all know I'm I'm very much a big Jacinda fan I'm a big labor fan um I was brought up that way I bleed red as they say um and even though I work for the government and it doesn't matter which government I work for I'm still politically neutral um in my heart I'll always be Labour um now I'm not you know if if you're on the other side it's completely fine it's up to you you know it's, it's that's your opinion that's your preference and that's all we'll say on that 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 is up to you completely um but yeah so I was really really shocked to see that I'd actually made a trending design as well um like uh and when I mean by that I mean that design itself was trending for a while I don't know if it is still trending um but what I basically did is I took a picture of Jacinda and put some hearts around it and you know put the real leaders lead with love um and it's it's I I personally think it's a lot better design than my previous design um and of Jacinda and yeah I was really happy to see someone buy it um and the manufacturing statement just came out today so you know I mean I'm getting closer and closer so far uh this year to getting my $20 so for those that don't know when you're buying or when you're running a red bubble store you'll get paid every month when you hit $20 um US um from sales so each month you'll get twenty dollars twenty dollars twenty dollars so you know you're not guaranteed to get lots uh now in december i'd actually got up to about thirteen dollars ten i believe it was or thirteen ninety no thirteen dollars ten and with that thirteen dollars ten at christmas redbubble does a uh sort of a christmas payment and they paid all of that out um and that's that's all cool that's all good um but it does mean that, of course, I won't get another payment of $20 until I now reach $20. Meaning, as soon as that $13 10 came out, I now have to start earning a bit more to get back up to that. Um, so I'm probably about, I'm, I'm at about $7 to $8 now. Um, and, that, and part of that is me increasing the sale of my t-shirts. Um you know, uh, increasing things like stickers and all that sort of stuff, but when those, when those, uh, when that payment does come through, I will let you guys all know, obviously, but yeah, I, I suspect it might be a little while before I hit that $20, um, at least I'm lucky enough to get one of those, another trending design, which just sells and sells and sells, God willing, eh, God willing, um, so, um, now to the other part of what I was talking about, part three, um, which is basically about me finally making my commitment to myself about design. So about two weeks ago, I decided to make a commitment to myself so that I'm going to have 100 designs uploaded every month. And that was pretty much because, um, as I talked about before, in January, I was sitting at about 49 designs so just under 50 designs um at the end of january i pushed it i had 100 and i was like yeah i had 100 yeah and then i sort of got to about 120 130 and as i talked about before um some of those designs that i did were about uh, i didn't count 19 of them because they were photos 
Um, I've sort of decided to count those now, bugger it, because, you know, they are still valid designs and they can still be put on everything. So I figured, you know, even though they are photos, you know, I'll, I'll, um, I'll consider them because I've got other designs which have photos and they aren't really considered, you know. Um, but, well, sorry, I do consider them. So, uh, I've talked before about scaling and doing this and doing this and doing this. Um, and I sort of gave myself a bit of a goal uh, at the end, end of sort of January that I was like, okay, I'd like to hit 150 by February, by the end of February. And I sort of started my scaling designs and noticed that, you know, with one of the with the Kawaii Pocket Friends, um, the ones that I've created, well, the food designs, well, that was that was 40 by itself. And then the Kawaii Pocket Friends Animals was about 60. And I was like, wait, that's 100 designs. What the hell? And so I thought, okay, let's, let's keep going. So I did my Never Forget ones that I talked about last time. And um, that was about 12 designs. Now, granted, that was really more like sorry it was it was 12 designs that turned into 24 designs um because of changing the color and everything but it's still 24 new designs and as i've talked about with redbubble you want to get more products you want to have at least 100 before they will start really you know advertising your stuff and so i um you know, over the last month, I, the Kawaii Pocket Friends has been a big one for me, and I still, I already have next month's uh, 100 designs um, that I've decided, because I've started doing 100 designs every every month, I want it uploaded, and so I've already hit my 100 for February, already technically hit my 100 for March as well, um, but I'm going to keep going with what I'm going, and I've got some more Kawaii Pocket Friends, this time I'm going to be doing them as sort of plants and succulents. Uh, but just today, I uploaded another 17 designs, uh, currently taking me to 312 designs, because I was sitting at about 290 for a couple of days, and I had these other designs, they were in my back pocket, and I was like, I really should just you download them, up, upload them to, uh, sorry, download them from Canva, upload them to Redbubble, um, it'll only take a couple of hours, and it did, it took a couple of hours, um, for the 17 designs to go up and I thought you know I know I'm doing today's podcast maybe I try to get them out before so you guys can see them if you want to go to my my shop all the links are in the in the description as you know and you can have a look and see what I've done and some of those designs I you know I got inspiration from YouTube um, there is a YouTuber that I follow that that does Canva tutorials um, on how to do cool things in Canva. Now, most of the things that they do, you know, some things I already knew, uh, other things were really, really simple, and they're just variants on what it is that they're doing. But it did make me think, when I saw one of them, I was like, oh, I could use that, that's cool. Um, and sure enough, that's what some of my designs are, and it's the flower lettering, uh, where basically you've got a whole lot of letters that are, they've got the whole alphabet, but they're all got flowers inside them. And we're not just talking like one flower, I mean like the entire letter is made of little flowers. And it's a very, very cool little concept, um, and it's kind of treated, it's not treated as normal text like Canva has, it is treated like an image. So I made a couple of designs like love and, you know, nope, and, you know, the, the famous nope, which everyone does. Um all those sorts of little designs just using these flower letters uh succulents and lover and all that sort of fun stuff um and so i started playing around and playing around and yeah i was i was quite i, I was getting quite a uh, you know a, an imaginative um, an imaginative road where i was just like right i can do this let's focus let's do it let's knock some out um and they've been sitting they've been sitting on my Canva account probably for about probably about maybe three or four days, knowing that I could download them at any time, upload them. Um, 
and I knew that sitting at my camera, I was sitting at about 291 designs. I was like, come on, mate, you're, you're so close. Let's get them out. And then, as I said, I wanted to have it to you guys be like, here you go, guys. I've just put up another couple of designs. Now, I have not done any ads for these designs just yet. I will probably do some ads, uh, hopefully on the weekend, if I get a bit of time. Uh, and these ads will be, you know, some of the Kawaii Pocket Friends. Um, I may or may not do another Facebook campaign coming up. Um, I just want to see what sort of works and what, what's going well. Um, but yeah, I've just been trying to focus my attention on creating new designs, specifically easy ones that I can scale, um, hence the Kawaii Pocket Friends. Um, because once I've got a template for it, it's just bang, 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 bang. Um, I did learn that on Redbubble, a collection will only have a maximum of 100 images per collection. Um, now, my partner did tell me this. Um, I didn't even register. Um, that it had. An, I just assumed it was unlimited and you could have as many images in a collection as it was. Uh, so it meant I had to split up my Kawaii Pocket Friends. So now I've got a Kawaii Pocket Friends Animals, a Kawaii Pocket Friends Food, and then very soon I'll have a whole collection of Kawaii Pocket Friends Succulents slash Plants, or probably be Kawaii Pocket Friends Plants. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's all coming up, Alex. Uh, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing at the moment. Um, on the health front, um... I started taking more apple cider vinegar and I am feeling fuller, uh, which is good, meaning I'm not craving as much food. Um, the one day I didn't have apple cider vinegar till late at night because I, I ran out of pills. Uh, when I ran out of pills, it was like, I noticed definitely I was, I was really hungry. I was eating a lot. Now I'm not talking a lot of bad things. I was eating a lot of fruit. Luckily I took a lot of fruit with me um, but, you know, when I'd eaten like four pieces of fruit before lunchtime, um, I could tell that something was definitely not going on right there. And I figured out what it was. It was it was because I hadn't had any apple cider vinegar that morning. And I know some people, they don't like apple cider vinegar. Some people do. Um, wherever you come across on that spectrum, I don't know. Um, me personally, it is one of those ones where I used to do the liquid. Um, then it started hurting my teeth a bit too much and then I started using the pills um, I have tried the goji gummies that everyone's like oh you got to try the goji gummies they're so good I'm going to be honest a complete rip off if you ask me um, I can barely taste I can taste the apple cider I can taste the apple sorry not the apple cider vinegar part um, and I can't justify paying you know, even, even cheaply paying $35 for 60 gels, which you're supposed to have two of them three times a day, you burn through them so quickly. Whereas if you buy the tablets, $12 for a pack of 60, and you have two tablets a day, done. You can have more if you want, but you don't need to. Um, if you do if you do have uh, the apple cider vinegar, either you shot it or you water it um, in, in water itself, I did used to do that myself. Um, I got very, very sick of that very, very quickly. Um, the taste is horrible, but I cannot deny what it does to my body. It helps me, it, it lowers my blood sugars. It helps me burn fat, keeps me fuller. Like there is a reason it is a superfood. It's the same as chia seeds. Chia seeds are, you either love them or you hate them. Uh, even though they've got no taste or anything like that, if you have them in water, they gel up, and some people do not like it that way, but you could have them in a yogurt, and as a chia pudding, or, or a, um, you know, an overnight oat pudding with some chia seeds, and again, they are a superfood, they are one of those things like blueberries, blueberries is a superfood, it is one of those ones where if you can have it, it's fantastic for you really really good for your body especially if you're diabetic um, with chia seeds like they do help lower your blood sugar lower your cholesterol i i used to i used to ingest them i used to put them in my um in my cereal 
in the mornings um, when I was having cereal and it was like you would have to eat them quickly before they gel up too much and then they just get really really nasty um, I did used to try and drink them uh, when I uh, was going to the gym and working out quite hard uh, because I knew they were a superfood um, but I'm going to be honest that was really really hard to drink because if you put like a tablespoon in which is what I was putting in each time they gelled up too much and it was just the consistency was like eating runny eggs which is why I don't like using them uh, in water uh, however they are an excellent egg substitute as well so they've actually got a little bit of protein in them as well um, and when you're cooking they are used as an egg supplement supplement as well um, yeah it is one of those ones where if you haven't had the power of chia seeds or apple cider vinegar yet do think about looking into them especially if you are trying to lose weight um, or if you are trying to sort of manage your diabetes a bit better they can they can actually make quite a difference in fact you will notice with the chia seeds and apple cider vinegar at the same time your blood sugar can lower quite a bit um, so make sure you've always got your blood meter on on hand blood glucose meter on hand and check your blood glucose meters because after about half an hour you could be having a low because of how how shocking they can take it especially the apple cider vinegar especially the apple cider vinegar other than that people i will say uh i hope everyone has had a fantastic day i currently have had 660 listens um five listens to my last one about the keto bread which is shocking um all on the same day which was really really shocking uh, but 660 listens I mean I'm getting closer and closer to that 1000 uh, which is when I'll do a, I'll do a giveaway for that um, so I expect some people to actually email me um, I'll probably when I do hit closer to the 1000 listens I will also do a uh, I'll open it up to the floor like I want you guys to ask me questions anything you want to know I'll tell you um, I'm an open book so you know I try to keep it as open with you guys as much as I can um, and I am happy to do that um, but yeah uh, feel free to hit me up and contact me until next week though people I um, wish everyone a good luck um, and remember that I love you all and as always good luck and manifest success <laughs>